Hey guys and welcome to Haunted Solutions YouTube channel brought to you by HauntedSolutions.com Today we're going to be giving you guys a look at the different types of K2 EMF meters that are available on the market and the ones that are most widely used and well thought after and we'll be giving you guys a step by step guide for those of you who are new to the panel industry to find out which meter would best suit yourself. Okay, so let's get started. So here we have the basic version of the KTMF meter. Um, the basic version is basically has a simple on off switch. Okay, and if we go ahead and turn on an EM pump, okay, and move closer in, we can basically see that you know it just lights up, and if we move the EMF away you know the LEDs go down. Now with this EMF meter it is a fantastic tool however at HauntedSolutions.com we recommend that you at least have sound in any K2 meter and the main reason for that is when you upgrade to another EMF meter it means that you can hear the EMF meter if you have the ability to lock it off on a location. Uh, on a location. So if you guys um, are out on a panel investigation, this has to pretty much be in either your site or field of view at all times and it's something that you can't really lock off unless you've got a camera on it and you don't really know if it's going off. So if you were in a hallway and there was a room next door, then the chances are you're not going to know it's going off just by the LED sequence. Um, so. Even though it's a basic meter, if you're on a budget, it's a really good meter to have. Um, at HauntedSolutions.com, we would recommend that you do try and get one with sound, um, which we will be talking about in just a moment. So, that's the basic K2 EMF meter. And here we have a similar version. However, the only difference is, if we go ahead and turn it on, we have a sound chip that's built inside it. The good thing about these guys is the fact that when you're out on a paranormal investigation you do have the ability to lock them off, you do have the ability to leave them in a room with you and even when your back's turned you're still going to hear it, okay? We don't have to rely on visual, we can hear it, okay? So we can rely on our ears, we can leave this, uh, K2, this type of K2 EMF meter in a location where you know our ears can hear the sound and we can go back and investigate what set it off. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the end pump just to give an example. The tone um, actually ascends on these as well. So while you guys are out investigating the paranormal, um, you know, when you first start, um, it is good to have this version of a K2. And the main reason for that is see when eventually you do go to um, a male meter or another K2 meter, it means you can lock these off. Because you have the built-in sound, you're giving yourself the ability in the near future to lock the K2 EMF meter off um, behind a locked room or, you know, in the room with you. And... Instead of you relying on visual, again, you can rely on hearing as well. So these are a really good option to have um, in the long term. Okay, so it's something that we would highly recommend you have at HauntedSolutions.com. If you have a K2 um, that's standard that has no sound, then contact us at HauntedSolutions.com and we will install sound in it for you for a small fee as well. So here we have the new version of the K2 EMF meter, which is a K2 with built-in laser grid. So if we go ahead and turn that on, again, the only downfall to this, it doesn't have the sounds, the same as the second one. It, you know, unfortunately we can't install sound because the more you install on K2 EMF meters, the, you know, there is a chance that you're going to give yourself false positives, so we don't like to overload a K2 at HauntedSolutions.com with various modifications. Um, there is other people out there who will install on-off switches for sound, on-off switches for laser grids. We don't do it at HauntedSolutions.com because we feel that there is a chance that we could, you know, contaminate a bit of evidence there. Okay, so here's the K2 laser grid projector. Simple on-off switch just here. Simply press that on and you get yourself a built-in laser grid, okay? 
absolutely fantastic piece of kit to have in the paranormal ghost hunting industry um, because it means if you see a shadow at the end of a room it's a simple push on push off and you also have the laser grid on and if your camera is pointing in that direction then you've got a good chance of catching the shadow through the dots as well um, or if anyone's seen anything you know they're a bit concerned about now the good thing about these uh, laser grids as well is the fact that bear in mind as panel investigators we are in the dark and it's a good piece of kit to have instead of saying to someone can you see that over there in the corner simply power on the laser grid and go that's where I saw that object you know or that's where I saw you know whatever you've seen um, so it's a good visual tool as well especially if you're on events it's a good way to guide people as well okay so they're the basic um, EMF, K2 EMF meters that are available on the open marketplace. There was a, and is still a K3 which is available and all the K3 is, um, is it has a simple red LED located on the side and it helps night vision cameras pick it up. Um, we don't stock them at hauntsolutions.com because we personally feel it's something that doesn't benefit this industry. However, you know, if you're interested in them, we do can we can and locate them and we'll get them in for you. Thanks for watching guys and I hope this helps you decide which K2MF meter to buy. Thanks for watching and like and subscribe, thank you.